Hey, Shalom, Shalom, brothers. It's Brother Kamal Mahar here, back at it again. First thing first, we'll give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, and Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders on this true road from GMS. Blessings to the Akim, dear preaching his word, with heart to sincerity. Blessings to the 144,000, one third entirely. The first fruits kingdom of heaven, Asa David, Dabiyafta, And Shalom to you, brothers out there speaking in different tongues and looking in different nations, man. Shalom to you, brothers, man. So today, man, you know, I just left the gig or whatever. Um, and through the spirit, man, you know, I like boom, shoot, I'm in the parking lot. Let me go ahead and just drop this vid before I slide on the road. Um, through the spirit, you know what I mean. I I, I was thinking, you know, laying back enough my last my last camp. Um, we are really coming to some beautiful slash bad times, man. And the and the and the, and even though that is, um, the Lord is going to defend and help His men. Now, this faith that the Lord the Lord gave us um, needs to be, you know, viewed in such of a precious precious way. That's why it says in Ephesians two that it's a gift. You know, it's a gift to be able to believe in what we believe in, and to have faith in in in, in a rough time. Because, like my brother Aria and my brother Shalomwami would say, you know, don't don't you know they, they don't want faith for nothing. They rather have faith when they really, really need it. You know, that's gonna be, that's gonna be, that's the ultimate prayer right there, right there. Is having faith when you really need it. Like the time that faith it needs to be around is the time that you want the Lord to put the faith on you. Because you gotta remember like this though. One thing I be knowing too about life is, you know, it's one thing to talk about something, and it's another thing to experience what exactly that you're talking about, right? You know, people, you know, might get a broken leg. They might see another person break leg breakers. I don't know. I just made that up. And next thing you know, it's like, okay, um, you know, you can crack. You can, you, you can, you can, you can, you can laugh about it. You can, you know, imagine it. You know, you can kind of, most times when you never experience anything, it's kind of easy to talk about something and actually kind of go about it like it's, you know, like it's light work. But in reality, experiencing it is a total different thing. So when you get yourself in that experience, then you really know what's really going on. That's going to be the time to see how strong and how tough you really are, right? Now, this is spiritual that we in. So when it comes to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man, we're going to really, really have to believe the Lord going to defend. Matter of fact, I know my first precept now, I thought about it. I'm going to get Jeremiah, but then again, this is what, see, look, when it says Isaiah 33 and 6, Yo, that scripture is, is 101 now, is an Israelite 101, yeah, but it's actually one of the most important scriptures and when you really think about it, just take, take, a, take a real quick thought. Um, what's, what comes to mind about, okay, so Isaiah 33 and 6 for edification's sake for the brothers, is wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And what does it mean by thy times, those rough times, that Jacob's trouble coming up? rough rough you know motb coming the, the, the hour of temptation you know it's gonna get real real crazy and it's one thing to talk about it it's another thing to experience it so i actually wanted to get my first preset because this whole thing is this video is not about faith but then again yeah it is because you gotta have the faith that the lord is going to deliver you like he said he was going to do that's the one thing that i that's the that I, that that's what my video really about is, is, is having a faith, yeah, but actually understanding that the Lord said that the Lord, the Lord said He was going to do the one thing that we're going to all need. Lord willing, we can be a part of that number. Is the protection and the favor of Yahweh Shai in these rough times. While everybody getting fucked up and famine and slaughter and kids being taken, wives being ravished, houses broken into, all types of calamities, man. You know, the men of the Lord is going to be all right. Unless you got to be a martyr for this truth, which is another way, another great way of going out. If you really think about it, it sucks. But then again, it's still a great way to go out because you're the first one getting that crown. At the end of the day, though, you know, all the other two thirds style of, 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 of calamity, you know, that's what you praying the Lord skip over you with, man. And so when these calamities are happening, you you want the Lord to deliver you and keep you out of that bullshit. That's why it says in Sirach, uh, what's, I was like 10 and 10. 
Sirach 2 starting at 9 Ye that fear the Lord hope for good Right and for everlasting joy And mercy hope for good And mercy is the two Things that is, is what you need to be praying For hoping for good Which you, which is already easy to do Because you can hope by anything And also May the Lord Yahabashimiah have mercy On you in these crazy ass times Now here's the thing we, we on the highways and hedges we doing the work and Lord willing you brothers are applying you know what I mean? The best way you can. You know, showing some type of real faith along with your works, right? So, verse number 10. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was taken and, and, and was forsaken? For whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Right? For the for Yahabashim Yahushua is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful. And forgive of sins and save in the time of affliction. That last part is very important. Save in the time of affliction. But verse 10 is the is the is the punch. And 11 is is is, is the slam dunk. Right? Look at the days of old. Ain't nobody who feared the Lord was ever forsaken. Anybody called on his name got looked out for. You know what I mean? And that's where Isaiah 33 and 6 come into play. Because you're doing this work for a reason. One, you were called to do it. Two, you have the faith to do it. And by having faith, then your works come out the situation. And then you also know that by doing these things, um, by doing these things, matter of fact, what is that? Um, what is that? That's, uh, I got, let me see, second Peter. Let Okay, right. Second Peter, verse one. I'm gonna go to ten and eleven. I'm, uh, 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 chapter one, ten and eleven. Here's the point. Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence and to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, you shall never fall. The Lord, the Lord pumping heavy. Yo, you rocking out with your with your with your man hundred grand. I'm gonna look out for you. And the Lord and the Lord is like, listen, if you go on duty, if you can do these things, you shall never fail, you shall never fall. Right? That's where that's where the, the faith the faith comes in. Having trust in the Lord that it's gonna happen. And mind you, while we doing this thing or whatever, not only are we laboring because we because we, we we were called to it and we don't want to get off the plow because we also fear the Lord, but what's one of the things that's coming by doing this work? Deliverance, protection, and what's that what's and what is that? That last one, verse 12, wherefore, no, uh, no, 11, for so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the Savior, Yahweh Shah, the Mashiach. But you also got to understand that what did it say though? It said, if you do these things, you shall never fall. So you good. Keep rocking. Now that should be your confidence, man. And the scripture said that the Lord never, never, never forsake anybody that feared him or called upon his name. Sound like a win-win. And the Lord is not a man that shall lie. You see what I'm saying? These precepts need to be in your mind constantly when these things come. You got to hold on to them. And, you, and then that's, and like my brother said, pray for the faith when you need it. When you need it the most. Because I got faith right now. I believe in the scriptures. For sure. 100%. But I'm also okay. You know what I mean? You know, I, I got my trials and tribulations, but I mean like some crazy shit. Gun in your head, you know, being threatened to, you know, your mom going to die or something. Esau got the chip. Like, yo, if you don't take this chip, you go into a FEMA camp. I mean, I mean like real, real fucking adversity. Real adversity. And the Lord is going to deliver you out of that joint. You got have faith that's going to happen. You know? <laughs> Jeremiah 30 and um Jeremiah 30 uh 10 and 11 it says uh therefore fear fear thou not O servant O my servant Jacob see up Yahweh neither be dismayed O Israel for lo I will save thee from afar and thy seed from the land of their captivity 
and Jacob shall return and shall be in rest and be quiet and none shall make him afraid. That's the kingdom of heaven right there, man. That's why I said, keep doing his, keep doing his work so the Lord can put you in this thing. 11, for I am with thee, say if Yahabashim El Shah, to save thee, though I make a full end of all nations whither I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in the measure and will not leave thee altogether unpunished, man. That's why the scriptures are called comfort, man. Comfort ye comfort ye selves with the, with these words, man. You know, the scriptures are a, com are a comfort, man. Gives you a peace of mind, you know, what it was supposed to do. Especially when your belief is real. Right? Let alone, I was thinking about one thing too. Not only is the Lord going to help his men. He going to help his men giving them spiritual power though. Now that's one thing right there. That's like, okay now. Now this is getting really interesting. Not only he going to save you or he going to mess around, which if the Lord can, can, can deliver you in, in, in freaky situations and make things look, but no, but the, the brothers getting spiritual power to defend themselves. And that's a way better flaunt in the power right there. For the Lord to show out like that, to give brother spiritual power. Matter of fact, um, Isaiah 41 and like 12 or 13. I'm going to start at uh, 13. Isaiah 41 and 13. For I, the Lord, Yahweh, shall thy power, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Right? Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. And thou shalt thrust the mountains and beat them small and shalt make the hills as chaff. Hey, listen. I'm cool with that too. Now, shit, that's comfort right there where the Lord gonna protect you like that? The Lord gonna give brother spiritual power? Lord willing, I could be a part of that number. I mean, I came into this truth of spiritual power. That's how it all started with me. That's a beautiful thing, man. Man, super speed, flying, man. Lord gonna give you these powers in order to defend yourself. It's gonna be on some Samson shit. Right? Man, listen. Yo, call law Yahabashim El Shah for being involved in his ministry, man. That's how you brothers gotta feel. There's an answer to everything, man. It really is. And it's got to be the greatest, no, it is, it is. This is the greatest information that anyone has ever heard in the human mankind history. I mean, you got your, you got your fairy tale movies and you got your Marvel and DCs. There's some interesting, in interesting stories that are out here, you know, and that I like to watch, you know, most of the times, you know what I mean? But when you base fiction against reality I mean it's like it's, it's so hard to fathom man that those styles that those those type of fictions are are available and will happen via future prophecy that's in the, that's in the near future via prophecy like it's prophecy for brothers to get spiritual power it's prophecy for you how to come back it's prophecy for prophecy that that brothers are going to get delivered and be saved through calamity. Sometimes, man, I, I have a hard time like just really fathoming like this is really real, because it it really is, and it's like wow. I mean, I don't know what to say, brothers, man. This is, man, this is this this, this is the same, man. We gotta hold on fast, man. And you got to trust in the Lord. You got to find a way. And it ain't going to happen unless the spirit of the Lord is on you, man. Because when we tell you that it's going to get fucked up, it's going to be fucked up. The scripture says one thing that just put that to the test. Some scary shit when you really think about it. A day like never seen in human history of mankind. Let me rephrase that. There are time periods coming up very soon. 
that has that that that's going to be so bad, it's labeled as the worst time in human history. Wow. And and these are the times where you're going to need the spirit of the Lord and the faith to really really get out this shit. Wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this off right here. It's a quick hit. Let me get out of here, man. I'm pretty far from the from, from crib. Uh, uh, Job 5, around 20. It says, 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of, the, of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. I brought this out my last my last bed. The Lord's the Lord's gonna comfort his brothers and his men. He's gonna take care of them, man. You know what I'm saying? Just keep doing his work. And the Lord's gonna take care of his men like he said he was gonna do. So now you got you now, now, now you gotta hold the Lord on his word, which his word has never been broken ever. That's also comfort. I will write this out as edifying to you, brothers. Lord willing, I'm gonna give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Kakodash. Yahweh, He is to be, He is to be, he exists by Shem in the name and only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shah by Shem in the name and Holy Spirit of Kakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the truth of GMS. Blessings to Aki, my dear, preaching His word with all sincerity. Blessings to 144,000 one third entirely, the first fruits kingdom of heaven. House of David, the Biyaf, that would die. And shout out to you, brothers, out there speaking different tongues and looking at different nations. Shout out to you, brothers.